Now I wanna give an example to show why convolution is a very useful operation in computer vision. I said that if we perform a convolution on this array, this four by four array of numbers X, if we perform a convolution using this convolution kernel, the, the way we do this is we take our kernel, our filter, we place it in the upper left three by three patch of our input array. We compute a dot product and we write down the answer and then we slide the filter to the right and then we keep going through that process. Now let's look at what happens when we place the filter in the upper left patch of our input image and we compute that dot product. That, is that dot product go, going to be large uh, or is it going to be close to zero? What, what is it that would make that dot product be large? Under what circumstances is that dot product large? Well, if the pattern in this three by three upper left patch, if the pattern of these pixel intensity values matches the pattern in this three by three filter, then that dot product will be large. The reason is that the dot product of two vectors tends to be large when the vectors are pointing in the same direction. It, it tends to be large when one vector is a scalar multiple of the other vector. If this three by three patch is like uncorrelated with our filter, then the dot product will be close to zero, corresponding to the fact that the dot product of orthogonal vectors is equal to zero. So what this, dot, what this convolution operation does for us in computer vision is it looks for specific patterns in an image. And if the output, when we compute our dot product, if the result is large, then that means that we have found the pattern in our image. It indicates we have found the pattern. If the dot product is that we compute is close to zero, then we haven't found the pattern at that location in the image. What pattern are we looking for when we use this specific filter? Well, you can see we have negative values here on the right and we have positive values here on the left. What this looks like in an image is an edge, a vertical edge. So when we perform a convolution with this filter, we're searching for vertical edges in an image. So let's actually perform a convolution on an image using that particular filter. Here's some code that reads in an image. If we look at the shape of this image, let's do image.shape. It's got 768 rows, 10, 1,024 columns, and three color channels. It's an RGB image. For simplicity, let's keep just the first color channel. So let's do image equals image of colon, colon, zero, we're gonna just keep the red channel, and then let's display the image again. And this time we're going to display it as a black and white image. So, okay. And if we do, if we look at the shape of IMG now, it's got 768 rows and, 10, one, and 1,024 columns. Now let's define our filter. I'll do filter equals np dot array of, and here we're gonna have the first row is one, zero, minus one, and the second row is two, zero, minus two, and the third row is one, zero, minus one. Okay, that's our filter. Let me just call it, it looks like filter is a reserved word, so let me just call it F. Okay, let's take a look at F. So there it is. That is our filter. That's our kernel that we're going to use when we perform our convolution. Now let's get the number of rows and number of columns of our image, so I'm gonna do, uh, num rows comma num calls equals img dot shape and let's create an array called filtered image which is going to be initialized to be to have all zeros 
and the number of rows is going to be num rows minus two, and the number of columns is going to be num calls minus two. And now we're ready to actually perform our convolution. So let's have a for loop where we say for i in range of one comma num rows minus one, and for j in range of one comma num calls minus one, and let's do catch equals img of, and I'll do i minus one to i plus two, j minus one to j plus two. So patch is a three by three patch from our image. So now what we need to do is compute the dot product of this patch with our convolution filter and record the result. So I'm going to say filtered image of i minus 1 comma j minus 1 equals, and now here let's compute the dot product uh, of patch with f. OK, that's it. So this section of code computes our convolution operation. It performs a convolution on our image. So let's, let's run this section. It's running now. And let's display the result. Let's do plt.imshow of filtered image. OK, so you can see what we're looking at is edges in the image. Let me, let me, display, it. Let me display this image as a grayscale image. So I'll do color map equals gray. OK. So this is our this is the result of our convolution operation, and we have what we're looking at is images it is what we're looking at is edges in the image. Look at the strong vertical edge here, that strong vertical edge, and then here's some vertical edges. Now, do we see any horizontal edges? I just we barely are picking up on something there that's not quite horizontal. For the most part, what we're seeing is strong vertical edges in the image. And we're not, we're, we're not getting a response for horizontal edges. So when we perform a convolution with this particular filter, it highlights the, ver it's, it highlights the vertical edges. Now, what if we wanted to find the horizontal edges instead? then uh, why don't we just replace f with the transpose of f? Let's try that. Let's take a look at, let's take a look at our new convolution filter. Here, this is our new convolution filter. This is going to be looking for horizontal edges instead of vertical edges. And so let's redo our convolution operation. We're just rerunning this section of code, but now with a different filter. And let's display the result. OK, and now we have found horizontal edges. Look at the strong horizontal edge. And we have horizontal, horizontal edges. And we're not picking up on these vertical edges that we were picking up earlier. So this shows why convolution is such a useful operation in computer vision. It finds patterns in an image.